Hey there everybody, uh, welcome back to Everything's a Project. I'm going to uh, go over um, aligning the tailstock to the headstock on the on a lathe, in this case the hard inch lathe that I have. I'm going to spin it around. So we're going to use the Edge Technologies bar and their indicator for the lathe. Um, they're pretty good pieces of equipment. Their claim to fame is engineered in the US and made in China. Um, so it makes it economical for uh, regular people to have um, some of the gadgets and they work pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so this is the 1950 hard inch lathe. Um, I saw another person that had a, a knockoff hard inch and they were going over the wear on it and stuff and it got me thinking oh I, maybe I should check mine because I've never have so uh, I got one indicator here I don't know if, yeah of course the glare is right on the zero anyways it's set at zero so is this one so this one's on the um, bearing side and this is on the um, nose so we're going to read run out and end play. So I'm going to turn on the lathe um, so I can keep my hands free. So you can see there's the, the run out and there's the, uh, the front loader. I forgot what it's called. But anyways, so it's not too bad for an old lathe. A couple tents here and there. Um, here's the uh, um, end play. I don't know if it's getting it. Anyways, it's probably one or two tenths. So that's all we're going to do with that. Not going to get into adjusting that. We get this magnet uh, mount out of the way. Good old American magnet. Okay, so we're back over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check the headstock to the tailstock. And one other thing I'm going to do real quick is check. So this is the uh, G9 hardened accessory, which is a 5C um, dead center. And again, that's a little better reading than the nose. The nose has got a little bit of scoring on it. So you have the dead center at the headstock end and then a live center at the tailstock end. And in this case, I used a M MT2 to MT2 extension because I won't be able to, with how wide the uh, bed is, or the um, carriage, I won't be able to uh, clear to read the back um, hardened surface. Okay, so we'll do the front one. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I know this tailstock is off because I did it on purpose. I, I moved the um, the gib. Okay, so that's at zero. And there's a little bit of movement. Again, everything's a couple tenths, which for the work I do, that's fine. For how old this lathe is, that's fine too. Okay, so you don't back it off. You just start moving and there's enough gap between the the reading surface and the the bar itself hopefully it'll pop up there because I only got there we go good job so can yeah, so we're uh, almost four and a half thousandths um, 
It should be towards me, right? Yeah. And you can see right here, there was there wasn't much clearance. I I gave a little more clearance than normal so I could read the. Um, and I'll show you that actually. I read the. Um, but I'll do that after because I already got this set at my zero. I I read the the bearing to make sure um, the live center runs pretty true. Okay, so on the hard hinge you got bolts adjusting screws down there and so I guess I'll have to pause the video and then come back because I can't do it all 